Greetings, mobile accomplishers. I am Dieter Bone. You're at PreCentral.net. You are watching the third annual smartphone round robin. This is our week for the BlackBerry, which uh, is pretty exciting. Uh, so next to me is my good friend, Kevin Michalik of CrackBerry.com. How you doing, Dieter? Doing good. Is it okay that I called you my good friend? Yeah, I'm okay with that. It wasn't like You're my good friend, Casual too. friend. Don't tell anybody, yeah, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to be... Uh, so we've got a couple, enemies. a couple of black. Actually, uh, if you were looked really quick, oh, and you saw this, and then you looked again, you'd almost be hard pressed to uh, to know that we're looking at diff different devices. Just sort of an iterative year for BlackBerry, hey? Uh, yeah, I think that would be a good way to put it. Right. Um, better, better Blackberries was the tone this year. For right. Sure. Better Blackberries. Okay. So, um, well, let's start with the. We got to start with the Storm Two. Yeah, you got you got two options, right? Non touch or touch. So let's go right. touch. Well, last year we just missed having the Storm Two in the round robin, right. and so the Storm One in the round robin. The Storm One, excuse me, and the Storm Two. I got to say is um, was a lot better than I expected because I was not a fan of the Storm One at all. The screen was just this floaty screen. Good concept, poor execution, yeah. a little bit. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what the deal is, can can you explain a little bit about how? this whole works. So here I am, I'm touching the screen and nothing's going on. Right. So if you think about the traditional Blackberry, and I'll grab one for a second here. Okay. It's all about scroll to where you want to go and click. Right. That's what RIM's taken to their touchscreen experience. So it's very much a similar operating system, but without a trackball, how do you accomplish that? And the way they do that is by separating you know, navigation from confirmation, by okay. allowing you to touch the screen to, to select things, but literally and physically clicking down to then take you actually action. push on the screen. You actually push on the screen. There's a back button. They got a nice back button for users. Yeah. Click no, on that. No gesture pad though. And gestures no. are pretty cool. And and that the click is really nice on this Storm Two compared to this uh, Storm One because this is floaty and there's one big button and this has got four little buttons, right? Exactly. Right. Um, and it's now in an electric system, so it turns on and off versus this one, which is purely mechanical. So now, if you're on a phone call, for example. There's a proximity sensor which then turns off the display and makes it fixed piece of glass. There's no more click. Okay. Whereas the old one, your your ear could literally act like your finger on a. On and so a it looks call. like we've got a, a sure type keyboard. Yeah, sure type portrait here, which is like the the traditional pearl. So, but if you hit the, uh, yeah, give it a go. It's it's a lot of work. It's more work than uh, than a physical keyboard that I'm used to on like that's actually got a yeah it's keyboard keyboard. But it's it's okay. Like you know if you know if you trust SurePress. So now you can also hit the menu key. And uh, there'll be an option. So I hit the menu key. And scroll down, there'll be an option for full keyboard. Enable full keyboard. There you go. And now we have a. F Q oh, look at QW. What's that about? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what did I do to your phone, man? Just broke it. You must have that effect on. Uh, enable reduced keyboard. I, I don't know, man. Re enable the reduced one and go back to it. That's weird. They do. <laughs> Turn it sideways for a second. <laughs> pretty good. You're actually Auto. amazingly fast on Correct. that keyboard. That's really good. No, it's, I'm just trusting it. I'm just trusting it, right? And it, it seems to be That's, good enough. I don't understand what just happened there with the keyboard. <laughs> we broke, we we think, broke the we storm, broke the storm. <laughs> Okay, so in terms of like specs, I mean, basically it's just the same BlackBerry, but more so. You know, we've got a camera, we've got a flash. 3.2 megapixel. You know, we've got a faster processor. We've got a pretty high resolution screen. Is this 324 80? Uh, 480 by 360. 380 by 460 in portrait, I guess. Okay, okay. Not bad. Um, you know, we've got. Oh, web GPS, browser still needs browser. to be improved. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's getting better. Let's, let's actually let's, yeah. let's do this up. Keep in mind there are third party alternatives. So if you want to put on Opera Mini or uh, Bolt Browser, or Skyfire has one in beta. Right. Uh, but wow, the, I got that address right on the first try. I'm there. really impressed with your, like. I'm you switching really, storm, guys. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't really used this, have you? No, you're <laughs> quick. I think. See, I actually think you might be better on this than me for typing because I'm really? so so fixed on like a physical keyboard. I right. Well, I, yeah, I want to. Okay, so it's still loading up it's here. Still loading. Um, but good news is, Rim, uh, you know, announced that a WebKit browser is coming. They uh, bought a right. company called Torch Mobile, who made uh, Windows Mobile browsers. And, yeah, but yeah. But no, WebKit. Everybody's moved to WebKit. Everybody's of course, moved to WebKit. It know. obviously is working. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know for Rim if they have that browser close to to launch or if it was more a talent acquisition. They have some really smart guys building right. it right now. Uh, but hopefully, we'll see that in oh, 2010. By somehow you locked it. That's okay. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, no, it's definitely a mobile browser. I mean, actually, it, yeah. all things considered, it's actually 
for what I'm used to from the past it's years. It's more with the, responsive. Uh, the, where you're catching right there that's biggest problem still is re-rendering as you scroll through. Okay. It tends to lag a little bit. But compared to previous years on BlackBerry, this is much better. Renders better. I mean, there's, I mean, you know, things where you have, like, say, drop-down menus on, like, JavaScript ones before, they wouldn't always work in that. Now they seem to be working. Uh, JavaScript's now shipping enabled on the web browser, which on some of the devices, like last year's Bold, it was still uh, disabled by okay. default, and now okay. it ships turned on. So obviously we multitask. We multitask, and yeah. You've got you multitask with this running thing. Can you quit apps from here? I can't quit apps from there. You got to open them and, and then close and then them. Close them. Do you out. in practice? though, do you ever quit apps, or you just don't bother? I I mentally make the effort to, um, okay. but it's definitely been one of the problems I would say with BlackBerry is that. A lot of people, when they want to close an app or exit an app, they uh -huh. just hit the red key, which leaves it open in the background. Right. And with the older devices where there, there wasn't as much uh, flash memory, it actually caused devices to slow down a lot because people right. just had every app open on their phone. The newer devices have more memory, so it's not as much of an issue. But um, yeah, I definitely have the habit of closing out of apps or backing out of apps to close them. Right. Down. Okay, and yeah, we, I was just, while you were talking, just showing some of the settings, and the, I still find that there's just so many options and settings on the BlackBerry, it's hard for Too me many. to track um, it. It's one of those things that, you know, they've built really a one-size-fits-all device for enterprise and consumer space, and, mm -hmm. and they came out of enterprise, so they have basically every feature consum uh, conceivable mm -hmm. for IT guys and power users, uh, and it's a little too much. It almost needs to be pruned down for consumer, and, you know, I, I would love to see it. One of the things I've seen in this... Uh, Round Robin was the the setting scenes on uh, one of the the hero on the hero. Yes, that's pretty impressive. And that's it? something I've been wanting for BlackBerry. I'm like, you know, you have a setup wizard where you remove unused languages, that kind of thing. And I would love to see you just pick your user base. You know, I'm a, I'm an enterprise user. I'm a consumer, and then have it get rid of some of these options and things and, and make it a little more friendly. So this is a bold 9700 available on right. AT&T and Rogers. Um, and this is like and T Mobile. This is like the BlackBerry, right? It's got the it's got the new optical trackpad. It's got the best keyboard. It's got Wi Fi. It's got GPS. It's got three G. And a tight and it's package. got a, and a really yeah. uh, high resolution screen. Yeah. It's like, the best of everything. The only thing people I'd say some of the BlackBerry users prefer is actually the keyboard and screen on this. The big old giant keyboard. Because this right. in your hand is awesome. Right. But carrying I'd rather it around go with this, this is much yeah, nicer. This, and you know it's got a nice back and you know. Yeah. And so on. Yeah, it's a little curvy yeah. actually in size. Like that's the only weird thing about it is yeah. the bold was this big phone and the curve's a little uh, smaller. Right now, one thing that we've talked about in the past, and I, I may have actually brought it up in the last round, Robin, was you know this feeling that BlackBerry is coming up to the point where they're going to need to have a total refresh in the way that Palm did. Right. And I had I felt like there was a point where I'd almost convinced you that they need they need to hunker down and start completely yep, fresh. Yeah, you did. And it sounds like from this last development conference you went to that you're not really sure that's the case anymore. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think uh, so. so what, what are they doing that's really cool on the on the, the OS front? So a couple things. I mean, the, the device used last year in the round robin was the Bold with four point, OS four point six. Now okay. they're rolling out five point zero. So the Storm two and the Bold ninety seven hundred uh, launched with it. As you use the device, you're probably like, I don't see any difference. I really don't. You really don't, unless yeah. you go through some very finite menu things and you know flagging and emails and that. But what 5.0 has done is it's really, under the hood, fixed up a lot of those things. Okay. That's allowing RIM to put out new APIs for developers, put in new functionality into the OS. That's really going to let them build forward. Um, we're not seeing this in today, you know, the device in your hand right now, we're not seeing it. But I think what they've laid out, come, you know, round robin next year, you're going to kind of be like, ah, they don't really need a new OS. Right. And it's, it's, it's interesting, because really the, the BlackBerry OS right now is... You know, the home screen experience, you're mainly launching apps and getting notifications. They definitely need to do something that's more widgety. You know, we're seeing this use, everybody's got widgets and pulling in your Facebook and this and that on, on your home screen. That's kind of what's lacking right now, I think, in the right. home screen experience. But well, it once looks they like, figure that out, I, I think everything's okay. Yeah, it looks like... Um like you guys are ahead of us on the game front. Like I'm, I'm trying to. Load, it's taken a while for this uh, app to load here, the screenshots. But it looks like you can get a little bit better graphics on uh, the BlackBerry OS than we can and in WebOS. And OpenGL got announced at the developer and conference. That so, makes a big deal. Yeah. That'll, that'll be. It's, so it's only going to get better. So yeah. a lot of catching up to do uh, for Palm there. Well, all right. It, it looks like like. Better yeah, Blackberries. It's better Blackberries. With, with a better future. And surprisingly, a better future. But it looks like they're. they're holding off having to do the full reset. So it'll be I really interesting so. to see if they're able to pull it off and execute it by next year. I think so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to keep talking about these, and uh, we'll do a full write-up here at precentral.net at the end of the week. And uh, thanks a lot, Kevin. Good talking My to pleasure. you. My pleasure. Good talking to you.